Hello, I am Luis Pertus, a Google Certified Innovator, Trainer, and a GEG Leader from Barranquilla, Colombia. I'm going to answer, how can I give students a voice in their learning? Which relates to communication in Google Classroom. I will share ideas and best practices on helping you give your students the opportunity to use their voices and interact in appropriate ways with their peers, including the use of Classroom Stream to allow students to interact and the use of private comments by or for the teacher to provide a more private means of communication, especially for those students who can have problems interacting with the whole group. The Classroom Stream settings can be changed to allow students to post and respond to teacher announcements or to only respond to posts made by teachers. One benefit of allowing students to respond to each other is that you allow students to answer each other's questions, providing them with greater agency in their learning process. This also provides an opportunity for digital leadership and promotes autonomy and a more cooperative problem solution process for your classes. To make sure your students can comment or even post in the classroom stream, you have to go to the settings page in classroom by clicking here on the gear or sprocket icon. Choose whether you want your students to be able to post and comment, only comment, or if you want to disable it altogether, only for the teacher to post and comment. No matter which of these you choose, you can create activities that will allow for interaction in all cases. Once you set up the desired setting, you can create a new assignment. Select question. Among the options, make sure that students can reply to each other to give them the ability to interact with each other. This option will work no matter how you set up the student abilities in the stream. The following ideas will only work if students have the ability to make comments in the stream. If your students have the ability to post replies within the stream, anything you place in the stream can be commented on by students, like here. Creating informal discussions is simple if you give them an appropriate theme. If you give your students the ability to create new posts in the stream, you do have to be aware that they can and will post anything that comes to mind. So be prepared. If you're worried about inappropriate language, you can always talk to your G Suite admin. There are settings in the console that will flag and help avoid this. Private comments are an option for the students that prefer not to speak out during class meetings. They provide a safe space to interact with their teacher. Also, they can ask questions on individual assignments and gain clarification without having to interact with the whole class. Within assignments, teachers can select individual students, not only to see their work, but also to make private comments to the student. Not only that, students can also send private comments to their teachers that only the teacher will see. Teachers can reply to private comments, making sure that their students understand and providing an excellent means of communication. Now we know what to do if we wish to better communicate with our students and also give them the opportunity to better interact with their peers. These clear and easy to use tools are invaluable in giving our students more voice and choice in Google Classroom. Don't forget to watch the other awesome videos in the Google Classroom video series. Thanks for watching.